everybody. I did a video a couple of days ago, and a lady in the comments had mentioned that she liked my hair and wished I would do a video on how I did it. So that's what I'm going to do today. But before I get started, I was just going to tell you a couple little things about uh, what I do with uh, for my hair as far as like shampooing and stuff. Um, one thing I uh, like to do is because of the length, I have to use a conditioner. And I normally always use a leave-in conditioner. But I also like to have conditioner in the shampoo. And if I don't have shampoo that has the conditioner in it when I buy it, I uh, have this big pump bottle and I will put two bottles of just normal shampoo, whatever I have chosen to use, and one bottle of conditioner and I pour all that in that pump bottle, shake it up, get it mixed up real good. And then that's what I use until I finish out the three bottles. And when I go to refill it, I uh, use a different shampoo because I feel like your hair gets used to a shampoo and then it may start becoming dry or oily or, uh, you know, just have problems. And so for me, it's just worked that every time I run out of shampoo and need to refill it, I just do it with a new uh, shampoo. And I don't use normally anything expensive. My daughter coupons and sometimes she'll get an expensive shampoo and give it to me and i appreciate that and i will use that but uh normally i just use like vo5 or suave or tresme or um you know stuff like that and i've always been happy with it another thing is when you shampoo your hair and um you want to comb it out comb it out don't use a brush on your hair because that is the quickest way to break it, make it frizzy, damage it, and uh, just make it be unhealthy. So start at the very ends of your hair, work your way up with the comb. Use a uh, leave-in conditioner is, is a really good um, thing to use if you have a problem with tangles. And... Uh, work your way up to the scalp and get all your tangles out that way and then let it get at least three-fourths of the way dry before you put a brush in it. And I did graduate from beauty school, so some of this stuff uh, I was taught and some of it is common sense. Um, just protect your hair in the real bad cold or heat. Uh, something that's very inexpensive to do. And um, it's a wonderful deep conditioner is mayonnaise. And just, uh, if you decide to try it, just put the mayonnaise all through your hair. Be sure and get it to your scalp. Then you can use a shower cap or a uh, one of those plastic grocery bags or something like that and wrap it around your hair so that it doesn't drip. And then you can use your blow dryer and um, warm that up and ever so often warm it up and leave it on for, sometimes I'll leave it on for a couple hours, but that's extreme. You don't have to leave it on that long. I just get busy doing stuff and, you know, uh, forget it's on there until I want a tomato sandwich and then I remember I have mayonnaise on my head. So anyway, I'm going to get started with, uh, I call it a bun. Sometimes I make it a messy bun. Sometimes it's a pretty neat in order bun. You do whatever you like. But, and I only use 
one hair tie. But it's a special hair tie. And I want to go to the store and get some more because I really like these. But um, this is the hair tie. I got it at Walmart. It's nice and thick. It won't damage your hair. It gives you plenty of uh, turns when you're fixing your hair. You can... Um, usually get your hair like you want it with only this tie but if you need to go ahead and put in um uh bobby pins by all means do it so usually a bun will do better not on first day hair but just comb all your tangles out which I combed my hair a few minutes ago. So most of them should be out. Um, and bring it all up. If you want to just run your fingers through your hair and bring it up, you can do that. It looks a little messier, which I think is cute. And And honestly, it's hard to try to sit here and do this uh if you're standing up if you my hair's a little bit long so if i stand up it's a lot easier to to do but anyway get your hair in a ponytail wherever you're wanting your bun whether it be towards the top the crown on the back the side is really cute just whatever you want to do then take your tie and put it on your right hand or your left. I don't think it probably matters that much. And get a hold of your hair. And once you pull it over your hand, you'll have a little bump of hair. So you just stop right there, come back around and hold it. You're just holding that little piece that if you were doing a ponytail, you, you would have pulled all the way through. But you don't, you just um, pull it just a tiny bit and stop and uh, come around with your ponytail tie. Now with this hair that's hanging down, just Bring it around several times. And then we're gonna come back around and um, go like, you know, a couple times around. You don't wanna go underneath your hair that you just pulled around a couple times. You wanna kinda be on top of it um, so that it'll catch and stay. Uh, hold your style and when you get to that last time that you're going to uh, go across then you, whatever's sticking up here you want to catch in that and then you have that which is not what you want so you just take your tie and you push your hair in uh, and what I do here, because rarely does it look like you are wanting it to look, then I start grabbing hair and pulling it out. And if this is where you can really get a messy bun if you want one. But you just pull... And I don't have my glasses on, so I really can't see how good or bad it looks. But you pull and um, all that until you get what you want. This is a little loose, but um, that's it. You just... Um, um, 
you know, just twist and go over just like you would a ponytail, except you're going around the hair that you did around. You're wanting to be sure and have um, your ponytail tie on that to hold it in place. You don't want to get up under there, then it's not going to hold that hair in place. And the more you manipulate your hair here, the more it might be messy or, or whatever. It'll never come out the same way twice. But uh, it's a lot of fun to play with and um, easy to do. And as I said, that hair tie came from Walmart. So if you can get you some of those, I think you'd be real happy, especially if you have long hair. Um, it just really accommodates long hair really well. <clears throat> and I really can't see if my hair looks okay or not. But it's all in just pulling it out. And you don't want to go yanking a big amount at one time. Just pull Pull some out and look. Pull a little more out and look. And if you want it messy, you know, just pull some little ends out and all that. And that's it. So if I have you totally confused, then I apologize. But sometimes I'm not the best at explaining. Maybe just watching how I did my hands might be better for you. But anyway, I enjoyed showing you this. And I appreciate you watching, and I hope that you're having a wonderful day in this day and time. Please do something good for yourself. I have been sick, you know, so my, my crybaby uh, uh, my crybaby senses are on full alert <laughs> but do something good for yourself y'all are wonderful people and do something for somebody else you know there are people who just don't have anybody and you can make a difference and please forgive me for crying i'm just i'm just emotional and i'm a cry baby and I love every one of you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.